Okay, Drew McAllister did not practice with the hip. Uh, TJ was actually limited. You know, it was hard to tell. TJ McDonald. Uh, Buck's still out for the most part. He did some things. Junior Palme out, but is expected to practice Saturday. Randall tried to go, re hurt his hamstring. Xavier did the most that he's done since week one, so that was good. Uh, they're in practice. Dallas Kelly, Marquis Simmons, and Trey Madden all came out with injuries. Uh, don't know much more on those. Defense did a good job today going after the ball. Had conditioning for two interceptions. And it was good to see them go after it. Hopefully they can do that every day without having to have a reward, just that mentality of going to get the ball. Um, Trey looked like went down without contact. Is, that, is there a concern that that could be a really severe knee injury? Yeah, I think there's that concern any time. You know, with knees where guys can't really walk afterwards. So we'll find out. Did you say anything to him? Did you have a chance to say anything to him? No, I haven't. They, they just carted him off. Really, you know, after seeing the success of what Dion's done there and the move from safety to there because of the game changing um, and then moving Trey, who was the backup there over to offense, you know, we just really looked at our roster and just another one of those, you know, moves with the reductions of less players you know, that you know, we got to investigate. So uh, we'll see how it looks for the rest of spring. You know, it looks good so far you know, because his pass is actually bigger and stronger than Dion is. So uh, hopefully it can work. So far, you assess it as he looks like he's, he's good to go at this point? Yeah, he's very physical, you know, and uh, really goes after, you know, the lead plays, which is your worry over there. So those are what Neon has problems with, obviously, because of the size, but he's a very physical player. You always say there's two ways to look at you know, turnovers during practice and bad for the offense, good for the defense, but creating more takeaways is been a huge emphasis since you've come here and the numbers have lower than you thought. So you're kind of happy to see that? Yeah, we are. I think any time that, that you're really good at something on one side, you know, limited interceptions last year with seven, and then um, not that good, not as many on defense as you'd like, you kind of root for that side as a head coach uh, as you go into spring and fall. And uh, obviously, it's the other way that you're concerned is that way. So um, it's, it's actually good to see. Doing some different looks defensively, different kind of lineups and all. Is there some experimenting going on with kind of what are you trying to do? Yeah, there is. You know, anytime I think spring's better to experiment than fall. And so uh, we started playing really well in our base stuff last year. We weren't very multiple. We really, after year one, decided to really limit our defensive calls so our players could play really fast. And with so many guys returning, they have those things down. And so we're continuing to get better at those, but adding some things. How has the offensive line looked and performed this spring? Yeah, I think that the, the, when Collins is there, he's played really well. David has done good at center. Uh, the two guards are playing really well. You know, they're, they're really improved from a year ago as they go into their second year of starting. And, uh, you know, the tackles you know, are, are a work in progress. You know, we still got to improve there. Um, we're actually playing better inside than outside. And, uh, the staff had very unusual over the years here. You know, we've been blessed with phenomenal talent. 